Hey, what's up everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about Puzzle Island. Here, we've got a new event that just began, and every three hours, we're gonna be able to claim our free puzzle moves. Here, we just got those three moves there. And the next quest, here we've got different quests which we can do for puzzle moves. So like here, for the extra four moves, we've got collect gold, 50,000, which we already did. Next, we have to feed our dragons 20,000 food. So here, I'm going to go feed them real quick. Here, we're just going to find ourselves a dragon. I'm going to go power descending. And uh, let's see, uh, here, uh, not the dragon I was looking for. Uh, just going to keep scrolling a little bit. Ooh, there it is. Okay, so here we've got the infested waters dragon from a previous event. And I'm going to go ahead and feed this dragon all the way to level 22. Looking fantastic. Oh, yeah. Here we got those four puzzle moves. So now we've collected gold, we fed our dragons, and next we're going to have to win a quest battle. For the four puzzle moves, those are going to be the three missions that rotate. So here we're going to go to battles quest and let's go get that quest battle for those puzzle moves oh yeah looking beautiful so here i have a pretty good feeling this should go well here we're going to start it off we've got a heroic dragon so ooh, it's off to a good start yeah looking good next we're going to use electric shock beautiful and yeah, these, uh, these opponents aren't giving us much damage so that's perfect and we got the victory there Awesome. Oh yeah, that gave us five puzzle moves there. And the further we've progressed, the more moves we can get. And there's 10 stages here. So try to line up your quest battles for these puzzle moves here. Now that we've done all three of the missions, they're gonna refresh. So now we have to collect gold again. Instead of being 50,000, it's 75,000. So that's a lot more there. Here, when it comes to the next mission to get eight, puzzle moves. Here we have to collect food. So if we go to food, we're going to collect that food there. Um, unfortunately, our food isn't ready for another hour and 10 minutes. I don't know, is that going to count there? Here we've got a little bit of gold and food that our dragons have been working on. Ooh, yeah, nice. So there, we at least got the gold. Okay, and we ended up collecting a little bit of food. When it comes to the eight puzzle moves, it's going to be three different missions as well. So here we're going to have to collect food win league battles, and then win battles in arenas. Those are going to be the three quests that rotate for the eight puzzle moves. Then after that, you've got the 15 puzzle moves. This one can uh, take a little bit more time. It's a little bit more complicated. So here, first thing we have to do is breed an egg that has the electric element. After that, we're going to have to hatch dragons with the electric element. Then after that, we have to breed an egg that has C in primal. Then we have to hatch, sea and primal. Then we have to breed, darken ice twice. Then we have to hatch, darken ice twice. Then after that, we have to breed, metal and dark twice. And then hatch, metal and dark twice. And then after that, we have to breed, war three times. And then hatch, war three times. And that gives you 15 puzzle moves each mission here. Then after that, uh, for the 15 puzzle moves, there's breed and hatch the electric and nature dragons uh, three times for that. And it was three times for the war element as well. And then you have to breed and hatch Terra and war three times. So I've never even gotten to the last one, Terra and war there, but definitely it, it takes a lot of time. Uh, it can get you those puzzle moves, though. Yeah. Beautiful. And then last but not least here, we've got plus 25 puzzle moves. Here it says breed an egg with C and light elements. Here we're going to have to breed three of those. So here we have to breed C and light three times, then we're going to have to hatch three times. Then after that, we have to breed nature and war dragons and four of them. So when it comes to breeding nature and war, since we have to do four of those, I'm going to try to synchronize it with the plus 15 moves where we have to breed three war dragons there. So I'm going to try to be strategic about it to kind of multitask when we have to do when we have to do those two different missions. And then after that, we have breed and hatch. And there we have to breed and hatch five pure and ice. I've started that one before, but I've never actually completed it. So let's go ahead and see what's going on in our breeding area. 
Here, oh, perfect. Okay, here we've got some dragons to hatch. Love it, yes. So here we've got the Predator X dragon that we got from a previous event. We're going to go ahead and hatch that, and I kind of want to put it in a primal habitat. Yeah, perfect. Right there. That's looking good. Buttes McGee. Woo! Awesome. So there, that's looking fantastic. Whoops, I went too far. Here, we're going to go ahead and hatch another dragon. Let's see. Here, we've got the steam dragon. Ooh, nice. We can go ahead and put that on a fire uh, habitat there, the flame habitat. Beautiful. And then next up here, we've got the paper full dragon. So that has water, nature, uh, sea, nature, and light elements. Super cool there. I'd like to put that one on a light habitat. And, oh no, my light habitats are all full. Okay, well, in that case, I guess we'll go to a nature habitat. Beautiful there. Yeah. Okay, so there, we got that. We're crushing it, and it looks fantastic. Here, um, so, well, I've got that real quick there. We've got the Terra Dragons. So, here... We've also got these dragons that I've been trying to uh, breed together to get to the legacy dragon. Anyways, that'll have to wait for another day then. Um, here, I think I'm going to start with 3 C and light. So here, we're going to go breed, and I want to do C and light. Here, let's go. I'm going to choose my strongest dragons. And da 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 here, this is looking fantastic. We're going to do a little bit of scrolling. And where are my sea and light? There it is. Okay, perfect. So here, this gives us a possible result of getting a new dragon, the eggshell dragon. So that's looking super cool there. Otherwise, you can get the glimmer dragon or the luminescent dragon, which I have a bunch of after having done the puzzle island a couple times. So here, we're going to go ahead, breed that, and no new dragon. That's chill. Here, same thing. So here, we've got the sea and light. I'm just going to choose that dragon scrolling over here we're almost there and there it is perfect and I guess I'll choose like a level 5 sea dragon here there's no point in using my best sea dragon or one of the best uh, come on where are those dragons yes there they are perfect so here we're just gonna go ahead and breathe that probably gonna get the luminescent dragon or the glimmer dragon and then here, last but not least, we've got, I've been trying to, uh, here, <laughs> you might wonder, here, uh, I've been trying to get uh, this soccer dragon. I know it's a common dragon, but uh, it's hard to get. It's got the ice and flame elements. That's like a quest that we see for the quest battles early on. But uh, the reason I'm doing that one there is because I want to get the gems from completing the Enthusiast Collection. Here, all I'm missing is the Soccer Dragon, and we're going to be able to get all those rewards. There's the Seafloor Dragon, the Eight Free Gems, hello, and a little bit of gold, a little bit of food, and Seed of Dragon, hello, I want those cards, and the experience, Yas Queen. So that's what I was working on over here. Anyways, back to business, we're going to go Sea and Light for uh, the third and final Sea and Light Dragon breed. So just going to scroll a little bit here. And we're close. I can feel it. Yeah, there we go. So here we're going to choose that dragon. And now we're going to go ahead and get our light dragon. And there's a lot of setting up here, but it's going to pay off in the long run. Uh, let's see. There it is. Perfect. So here we can go ahead and breathe that. So now we've been getting a bunch of puzzle moves. This is going pretty well so far. We can go ahead and collect a little bit of gold here. I saved a bunch of gold and things are looking fabulous. Oh yeah, so here, just going to tap that real quick, get all that gold there. Relatively easy. And well, anyways, you know how to get gold. Here, back to the island. So we're working on our puzzle moves. Electric, that I should have thought of earlier. Here, when it comes to the electric, um, yeah, we're kind of, I guess I blocked myself for now, but no biggie. It's going to be ready in no time. Here, I'm going to sell the Terra Dragon. And let's see, 18 hours, 20 hours, and 20 hours. Ooh, okay, this isn't going to be ready until tomorrow. So in that case, I've got one and two dragons that'll be ready that we can replace with the Sea and Light Dragons. I think I'm going to get one egg out of my storage. Uh, let's see. Here, 
I'm going to go with the, the new recently obtained Squid Dragon. Eh, 23 hours. Okay, not too shabby. Uh, I would have wanted it to be a little bit shorter hatch time, but I'll take it. And that's the new dragon that we got from the previous event, the Escape from Atlantis event. Love it. So when it comes to the puzzle um, island here, you want to try to make moves that will benefit you the most as possible. So like, for example, here, we've got the orange and banana right there. So that's going to give us items of two different uh, objects there. Here, we've got a five match. Here, we're going to take those leaves right there. And now we've obtained some really cool items that are going to give us a little bit of a boost here. So that's super beneficial. When it comes to the event that's going on right now, we've got the Mwahaha dragon, which looks epic. The tri feather dragon over here. Ooh, I love that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got to get the tri feather dragon. Super cool. And whoops, here we've got the Avi dragon, another beautiful dragon there. And then after that, the abominable dragon. Ooh, that looks fierce. Oh yeah, legendary dragon definitely looks pretty epic. And uh, here, last but not least, the apex dragon, a fierce dinosaur, dragonosaur, it's Rex. Here, that is definitely looking really good. And uh, I'm hoping I'm gonna get enough puzzle moves so we can get all those dragons there. We'll see where the wind blows, but fingers crossed. Ooh, and uh, one more thing with bidets. Here, if we go back to the sea reward section, here, there's a bunch of rewards. We can get the mystery food box, which is amazing, five epic joker orbs, and the grid coins, which can help us out with the other event that's going on right now. We've got a grid event that's happening over here. So that's going to be, uh, you know, uh, one thing that we're going to want to collect uh, grid coins for. So we're starting to collect grid coins, and we'll see where the wind blows and uh, how far we can get in this event to get as many dragons as possible. I love these grid mazes and this should promise to be a lot of fun. Over here, we've got the Tropic Dragon. Ooh, I like it. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got to get that dragon. Here, we've got the Prowling Dragon. Oh my gosh, way too cute there. Oh yeah, got to get that dragon. Oh my goodness. Here, we've got a couple must-have dragons. Here, we've got the Omnivicious. Ooh, Feeling my Lou Reed music vibes there. Do, 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 do. Ooh, okay. Definitely uh, want to get that one there. And uh, here, this is going to be a little bit harder to get the Machu Picchu dragon. Okay. Uh, I think I already have this dragon, but uh, definitely a cool dragon if ever you're working on your uh, uh, collections there. And uh, I'll show you that in just a second. And here we've got the extreme defense dragon. Ooh, I like that. I'm loving the dinosaur vibe that's going on here. Oh, yeah. Definitely, uh, I'm going to be channeling my inner cave woman here to get all this going on. And uh, where is it? Here... I'm working on a couple different collections. And uh, here we've got the Seven Wonders of the World. So there we've got the Machu Picchu Dragon, which is definitely a, an amazing dragon. If you want to get this collection, you can get 15 free gems and the World Wonder Dragon, which is just beautiful. Um, definitely something I'd like to add to my collection eventually. And along with the free gems for completing the collections, you can't go wrong with that. Here you can see all the... Uh, collections I've completed and whenever you complete a collection it gives you free gems so that's one way I've been getting free gems and uh, definitely it's been paying off. Hey thanks so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and good luck with whatever puzzle island you're working on. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for more tips tricks and strategies coming your way. Happy gaming everybody take care peace.